This is Clarence Saunders. He was born in 1881. He was born to parents that were Virginia tobacco farmers. At the age of 14, he quit school and went to work for a local grocery store. In 1903, at the age of 22, he married Carolyn Walker. They had three children. On the 16th of September, 1916, on this corner at 79 Jefferson and Main Street in Memphis, Saunders opened his first grocery store. Its name was Piggly Wiggly. He was 35 years old, and he had developed the novel idea of allowing grocery customers to walk through the store and to pick their own grocery items right off the shelf. Within five years, Piggly Wiggly had expanded to over 1,200 owned and franchised stores. Saunders by this time was a multi-millionaire. They say that he loved golf, and he thought that the millions that he had accumulated off of his Piggly Wiggly stores would enable him to become a member of the prestigious country club on Central Avenue. When they refused him, he was determined to show him up. So he crossed the street and bought 155 acres and announced to the press that he was going to build a mansion that would be the showplace of the South and that it would stand for a thousand years and, oh yes, that it would have an 18-hole golf course. This is it. This is 36,500-foot palace was to be called a Clay LeClaire from his three kids, Clay for Clarence Jr., Lee, Lay for Lee, and Claire from Amy Claire, his daughter. This is the back side of the mansion. At this time, Clarence Saunders was 41 years old. This is it. It was to be built out of pink Georgia marble. It's been said that he was in such a hurry to get it built that when truckers in Memphis went on strike, he hired every mule team in the city to haul his pink marble to the job site. They say that people would drive out to East Memphis on the weekends just to marvel at the construction. This is the front entrance you're looking at, although there's 12 other entrances to the Pink Palace. People begin to call it the Pink Palace because of the pink color of the marble. Although Saunders was considered to be an entrepreneurial genius and wealthy, in some ways he was a tragic figure. For one thing, he never got to spend one night in his pink palace. Because in 19 and 23, before construction was completed, Saunders, along with several southern bankers, attempted to buy up all the Piggly Wiggly stock. Their idea was to drive the stock prices up from $29 a share to over 100 And they did. And they made millions. However, it was short-lived because the New York Stock Exchange said that they were attempting to counter the grocery market and kicked Piggly Wiggly off the exchange. Of course, stocks dropped to almost nothing. And Saunders lost his fortune, his pink palace, the estate that he was living in at the time, and unfortunately had to declare bankruptcy. Creditors took control of the land and the palace. They subdivised the land into what's now the Chickasaw Garden Estates. They couldn't finish the palace, so they eventually gave it to the city of Memphis, 
that invested another $150,000 in order to finish it. We're now looking out the front entrance to the Palace South towards Central Avenue. This is the main hallway into the Pink Palace. Now the upstairs is blocked off. They won't let you go up there now. And actually only one wing, the east wing, uh, ground floor is the only one that's open. Several years ago when I'd come over here, we used to could go all the way through the palace. But now they won't let you do it for some reason. We believe that this room straight ahead was to be Saunders' office. This right here to the left was to be his dining room. It would substitute for a ballroom. This room here was to be the living room. You see this wing here was to be his theater. The palace was to have an indoor swimming pool, a bowling alley. He loved to shoot, so he was to have a shooting range inside. This nook that's going around here was added on later in a part of the original palace. You can see by the the stones on the outside of this room right here. When you stepped out this door right here, you actually were stepping outside. Saunders had actually intended for this to have eight bedrooms with private baths which was almost unheard of in the South in the early 19 and 20s. We're back into the dining room or ballroom. Now the upstairs, second floor is just as big as the bottom, the ground floor is. You go up these stairs, and as you walk around on the little balcony, right through there is the west wing. And you had to walk all around in order to get to the upstairs east wing. Looking back into the dining room now. And 
in 19 and 24, one year after going bankrupt. He went bankrupt because of so many lawsuits that Saunders had suffered. He severed all ties with Piggly Wiggly, having nothing else to do with it. He went and he borrowed money from a few of his loyal friends that still had Piggly Wiggly money that he had helped to uh, make when uh, Piggly Wiggly was in his heyday. And within a few years, believe it or not, Clark Saunders had started a grocery, and he called them the Clark Saunders stores. He had built them up to around 600 stores, believed to be, he was believed to be a wealthy man again. However, in 19 and 29, two things happened to Clarence Saunders. The first thing was that he got married the second time to his second wife, Patricia Houston. And they had one daughter named Anne. And the second thing was stock market crash. Again, Saunders was in financial trouble. And in time, he had to sell the estate that he had acquired and named Anwood after his younger daughter. Saunders tried several different ideals. Though his, through his remaining years, all related somehow or another to the grocery business. Now, this is a picture of Saunders in front of the palace a couple of years before his death. Clarence Saunders died of heart failure in 1953 at the age of 72, and he's buried with his second wife, Patricia, in the Memphis Memorial Gardens in Memphis, Tennessee. Now, you may have not known Clarence Saunders, but every time you take an item off the grocery shelf and place it in your basket, you can thank him for having that choice.